All right, guys, here we are continuing on with our Supercross 4 career mode. Before we get into it, I do want to take a moment to do a little bit of shameless self-promo. Look at this right now. I am kitted up, man. TOC on the sleeve, once on the front. There's even a tag on the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. The Once Company is basically my merch. I'm trying to build a brand rather than just putting out Goon Army merch, which there is Goon Army merch over on the Once Company website if you guys are interested in checking that out. If you guys do want to help me out on that journey of building that brand, check out my link tree in the description. It is a one-stop spot for everything Goonzig. If you guys do want to buy something from the Once Company, use code Goon Army at checkout for 30% off your order. I have a lot of fun things planned for once in the near near future and I am motivated to get back on the Once Company grind. So it's time. It's time to chase those dreams. If that does mean cutting back a bit on the gaming content, I am A-OK -okay with that. Cut back on one thing to hopefully excel in another area, or at least that's the plan. You guys can follow me on Instagram or any other social media. All of my links, like I said, are in that link tree. If you do want to get involved in the Discord, join the Discord. We are always big vibing over in the Discord. The Discord vibes are almost as high as this kit right now like look at this lit kit bringing some big old vibes to the table i haven't signed to a team this setup is really just thanks to the mods from pay 2021 we are absolutely kitted for tampa here today if i go ahead and buy this skill we are one skill away from being a maxed out rider let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the kit go down there and smash that thumbs up button for the lit kit let's see if we can break 200 likes on this video i believe you guys can do it so go down there click that thumbs up button it would be greatly appreciated subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and we are getting into some tampa action i figured we would go ahead and bring some yz450 vibes to the table another question for the boys is it yamaha or yamaha you guys always seem to roast me when i say yamaha so let me know in the comments below let's roll that intro and let's get into shredding here in the raymond james stadium All right, it looks like my rival is Justin Barsha. We are here in qualifying, getting right on into it. 10 minutes of qualifying to kick things off. Of course, Tampa is the track that is currently being time attacked for the eSports Championship. And I figured what better way to perform here on Tampa than on a Yamaha. The eSports Championship is on a Yamaha, so hey, this is some good old practice for your boy. I haven't actually really ran any laps for the eSports Championship other than what I've shown in videos, mainly just due to the fact that I know my speed, I know my limits, and I will play within it. The top guys in this game are truly on another level. I do believe that I have maybe a chance at running a top 12 lap time here on PC. If I dedicated the hours into running laps here on Tampa, I might be able to make it happen. But going on to win the thing, I have no chance. That is, man, that is not happening. I know my limit and I will play within it. <laughs> I actually ended up doing the DMR championship finale. It was here on Tampa and just goon moment, man. I ended up being on a Yamaha for that finale main event. In the A main, your boy was out there playing as Justin Barsha.
I still put in a pretty solid ride and it was a pretty fun night of racing, but I truly feel like the Yamahas are really, really slow. I think they knew that if they didn't lock it on the Yamahas, then no one would have been running Yamahas for the championship. We'd all be out there on KTMs and man, Huskies have been slowly but surely taking over the game. I would say that my average laps here on Tampa are like 53 second lap times. I know I can drop down into the 52 second range. I've even ran, oh that was a terrible run through that corner, but I've even run like a 52 on a 125, but the top guys are down at like 49 seconds, which is absolutely insane. That's like another three seconds off of my lap, and it really just comes down to nailing everything perfectly. I know Kimzin actually ran a lap that was so fast he actually had to get in touch with Milestone because it didn't count on the championship leaderboards, which that's insane. Milestone had a system in place so that it would basically prevent cheating and speed hacking. The boys went out there, I believe Weedy has ran a 47 second lap time as well. The boys went out there and basically they broke the anti-cheat system with a legit lap like it blows my mind man anyways 53.097 on the board for qualifying like i said i could sit here and grind out laps all day long can you actually not end session from that menu that's interesting end on out of qualifying and we are getting into the heat race action i only have three seconds on the ai that's actually not that much gate selection is always an interesting thing because i feel like the ai are absolutely cracked at these starts you could choose any gate out here on the starting line and it really doesn't matter getting a jump out of the gate and beating the ai to the first corner is is nearly impossible but hey oh i tried to time it if we could have made that work we could have been up there banging bars with uh webb and osborne there one sneaky thing you can do is just hold your ground on that inside and come out near the front so here we go tampa action coming at you guys hot heat race going down of course crash penalty is going to come into play we will bring that pit stop challenge to the okay gardener man i thought you were going to cut a little wider than that <laughs> get out the way my dude am i still going to make this triple let's go sometimes the ai simply just hold you up they do everything they can to get it in your way i swear but let's come across this start straight here and pull on over the pit stop challenge coming into play. We're gonna go ahead and how do you actually look back? Why? Let the whole entire pack go on by and we are jumping in in 20th place right now. So a minute and 44 seconds on that clock. We're gonna have to see if we can put on this comeback charge. I really think the pit stop challenge is a fun challenge, for real. I feel like it keeps you in the mix throughout the whole entire race, especially in those main events. And it spices it up a little more than just doing, say, a solid 20 second head start. Because I really feel like anything can happen in these pit stop challenges. It really does all depend on how far back last places from the leader if there's a big old gap in the pack is like really really spread out then it turns it into a really really tough challenge so it's cool that each race is different even here right now 40 seconds on the clock and i am closing in on the leader right now Paulatelli is actually holding his ground right now holding off me and anderson and yeah he gets in my way there okay noted the ai just simply get in the way in that section let's see can i hit a cheeky little line through here oh, i didn't get it smooth i'm still going quicker than Paulatelli. no sights of anderson back there i don't know what happened to him so five seconds oh i thought bag was gonna go to the outside there man <laughs> that was so sketchy i was gonna try and dive to the inside of him i didn't realize he was actually trying to hit the inside berm there two laps to go and i'm up here in fourth place hunting for that win right now hill up here in third that's cool to see get past him like a piece of cake ai really messing me up in this section i think that's the first time i've hit that section clean all race long past both of the front runners here and we are going on to the last lap so it is time to just check 
out. Before you guys go roast me in the comments, we've already decided that if, if it's last lap and you have something wrong with your bike, you are probably just sending it to that finish line, all right? If there is some form of mechanical failure, but the bike is still rideable, you are gonna send it to that finish line. Hey, you know what? Since the whole idea of the pit stop challenge is that your bike, you know, has a mechanical failure, you gotta pull into the pits and get a quick fix up from, from your team. I think if we were actually riding with a mechanical failure on this last lap, we'd probably be struggling a little bit. So maybe I'll stop here at the finish line for, let's wait five, 10 seconds or so, so that I'm at least at some some form of disadvantage here, so I think that was a long enough wait. If you have a mechanical problem but the bike is still rideable and it's the last lap of a race, whether it's a heat race, an LCQ, or a main event, you're probably just gonna send it and get yourself through that race. Get yourself to that checkered flag. So maybe that's fair if we give ourselves like, let's say seven and a half seconds, a seven and a half second penalty if I am in the lead on that last lap. I just know people are gonna roast me. They're gonna be like, hey, what happened to the pit stop challenge on that last lap? So main event time, since I didn't get that win, there are gonna be a few riders on this gate. I think I'm just gonna choose like a solid inside gate here. My rival is Justin Barsha. So if I can send Bam Bam to the ground, I would be, oh, we would be smooth sailing to complete that rivalry. Maybe that'll be my goal for this race. Can I Bam 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 Bam? The hunt for Justin Barsha here at Tampa. Let's go. Can I wheelie this whole straight? Fall in behind these guys look at how slow they go through this first corner when they're all bunched together messed up this first rhythm it's all good i deserve to be oh i took out web <laughs> i deserve to be in last how many people did i just pass there too many to count roxon's making his way through the field as well roxon's been killing it in the outdoors i find it funny that he made a few comments about how he didn't think he was prepared and now he's been absolutely killing it. Maybe it's all mind games, man. Mind games are huge in uh, sports at that professional level. If everyone thinks Roxon is coming in underprepared and he comes out swinging, yo, expect the unexpected, I guess, right? I'm already up into second, past the whole entire field like they were standing still. I gotta work on Cunningham here and just make sure I'm past him on this lap so we can pull on in to the pit area and make that pit stop challenge come into play cunningham holding his ground tampa is a tough track to pass on like through this whole section i'm just like stuck on his outside here and then through here he doesn't even go for the big line oh can i still <laughs> stretch it out that was so sketchy but we made that happen so three minutes on the clock right now I think that did take me a little bit of time to get through the field there, longer than uh, in that heat race. Pull on over, got the Yamaha boys working on the bike, and we are gonna let the whole entire field pass. Oh, who is that? That is so far behind. Tell me it is Benny Bloss, man. Of course it's Benny Bloss. I hyped Benny Bloss up in a previous episode because he did win a heat race. In Supercross 3, he was always locked at the back of the pack, but Man, here he is still at the back of the pack. I think now it is absolutely charge time. I need to put on the tryhard pants, pretend we are out here competing in the, the esports championship. Oh, there's Barsha. Oh, what is happening here? It's just like a traffic jam, man. You guys think I can get Barsha in this corner? Like a s surprise attack? Oh, I kind of clipped Webb. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Leave it at that and leave him in the dust because I have a race to win right now. Two minutes on the clock. Big old group right here. Everyone that goes to that outside, they just get swallowed up. The outside line in that sand section is definitely, it is not the move. I find I'm over jumping the first triple into this section like every single lap. And that does cost you like a ton, a ton of time. Let's see if I can get Gardner here and just stay on his inside. Get on the gas and bust out this triple. <laughs> the AI are so sketchy here on Tampa. It is insane. They get in the way in every way possible. 53.3 was that lap. So that was a decent lap by my standards at least. 
See if I can dive in on rocks in there. Working on Davalos now. Cunningham going to the, that outside. He's going to get swallowed up. Even look at how much time we gained up on Anderson. I'm going to try and cut to the inside of Davalos. Anderson, I didn't mean to clip your back end, man, but you got to get a move on. Because the pack is coming, dude. We are bringing the heat right now. I got to bump these guys out of the way. I might need to try and just go to the outside of Anderson here and oh I lost that back end slow up get on the gas 24 seconds on the clock did Anderson just choke where is Anderson past Anderson Baggett got by when uh, I messed up that rhythm with the supercross triple I need to just outbreak Baggett here and try and hold my ground oh that was so sketchy Davalos is in second we are currently in P3 on that podium. A lap and a half to go here in this Tampa main event. I'm gonna see if I can get the pass on Davalos right here by just staying lower to the ground and carrying more speed into this section. He's on that inside though. I gotta get him out of here, man. Get him out of here. They really get in the way for this triple up on to that table they they ruin that section in every way possible we are going on to the last lap here i don't think osborne is much of a threat currently chilling in second place right now i don't want to jinx it but i've been riding like actually really good in this episode consistent i should say i mean a 53 for that lap time is not it's not perfect it's definitely not super speed on this track it's not a super speedy lap but no crashes the crash penalty did not come into play once throughout this episode which is that's huge just finding a flow here in tampa and having fun with it this is actually going to be the first time i bring home a win in a while i think I've had some really consistent results, but this is the first W in some time. Osborne keeping me honest there. So a 53.3 for my quickest lap. Once again, three seconds quicker than the AI out here. Osborne in that second spot. Davalos in P3. That win right there just opens up that points gap. 151 points to my name over Justin Barsha's 128. I only have two wins to my name and a bunch of consistent results other than that. Winning that rivalry against Justin Barsha, once again, a thousand cold hard cash to our name. Feels good to be on that top step, the top step of the podium. No crashes all episode long. Well, maybe in qualifying. I don't remember if I crashed in qualifying, but the crash penalty not coming into play in any of the races. When do when do I get a new contract, man? When do I get sponsored by a team? We're already eight rounds deep. Kawasaki, in next episode, let's do it. Remember guys, oppose nothing, conquer everything, get out there and chase your dreams. All of the links for the Once Company, my Instagram, my social medias, whatever you guys need, your one-stop spot for everything Goonzig is down below in my link tree. Check it out, use code GOONARMY at checkout on the Once Company website for 30% off. And that's it, that's all, peace out.